I love the Harrods window displays this year and they put colour filters on the glass to create an intensification of the effect. For example, there is a rich crimson colour to the right, a silvery effect now on the right, and the window display at the end, a sumptuous emerald green. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is Bev's birthday trip to London, or the annual trip. Uh, this is the open top vintage bus tour of the lights from London, so if you like it, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. Right, what we've got to do, we've got to do now, right? So, what? What are we going to do now? We're on an open top bus, going to see all the pretty Christmas lights of London Town. <laughs> London Town. German Christmas mugs are becoming something of a tradition now in uh, England, not just London. You can buy fine beer, super sausages, yep. and right outside it is, of course, Florence Nightingale. Widely regarded as the founder of modern nursing, chief of her work in the Crimean War in southern Russia. Well, the first of, of many sumptuous Christmas trees, you see it on the right hand side. And above our heads, golden angels beckon us towards Piccadilly Circus. And that's the joy of being on top of an old fashioned Route Master double decker bus. The view could not be better. So we're heading towards Piccadilly Circus now, the official centre of London is the southern flank of the Father Square, but for me the ambient centre of London, and I'm sure many people would agree with me, is Piccadilly Circus coming up next with its bright lights, crowds of people day and night, and the elegant if petite statue of an angel, the angel of Christian charity, better known to none of us by the sobriquet Eros, and you'll surely see Eros coming into view on the right hand side. The statue was erected in honour of a 19th century social reformer, a man called Ashley Cooper, who was the seventh Earl of Shaftesbury, and incidentally was the first statue in the world to be cast in aluminium, or aluminum, as they say across the Atlantic. Well, the bright lights create this wonderful effect, especially after the rain there. The reflections of the bright lights in the puddles creating a, a real picture postcard view of this famous London landmark, the Statue of Eros coming up in just a while, get the bright lights of Piccadilly Circus. As we turn left now into Piccadilly itself and more angels above our heads. Lighting the door. Piccadilly is the principal thoroughfare of London West End. It's not Piccadilly Street, Piccadilly Avenue, it's simply Piccadilly. Again, coming into view now on the left hand side is St James Piccadilly. There it is on the left now. Check the programme, there are going to be many splendid carol services and Christmas services over the festive period. The church in today was designed by Sir Richard Wren, the same man who gave us the glorious St. Paul's Cathedral. One of my favourite shop runs at this time of year, Portman Mason, the famous tea room. There it is on the left, they've done a wonderful sort of visual pun, they've turned the main facade into a giant handbag camera. for a lobster sandwich, it does come with chips. And the chips have better be good as well. And beyond the lights on the left, the famous Ritz Hotel, founded by the eponymous Caesar Ritz in 1906. The very word Ritz is into the English language as a word to describe luxurious living. You can enjoy luxurious living at the Ritz Hotel by taking an afternoon tea at the Ritz. It comes in at a hefty price and it's not something you want to do every day because you get very fat and very poor very quickly, and the novelty would wear off. I know from bitter experience. The Ritz Hotel on the left. Astros, the Hard Rock Cafe in London, which was founded in 1971. Goodness me, that is half a century ago, 50 years ago. 
The Hard Rock Cafe London is the original Hard Rock, and there it is on the right hand side. And now, of course, there are branches all over the We disappear to this tunnel, as I said, but not long from what we will emerge. Which is without doubt London's number one upmarket shopping district. Famous for its shops, antiques, and two brothers now celebrated car and stores. How many dozen parents, both of which we can see in a few minutes from now? Like many districts of London, Knightsbridge was formerly a village outside of London, but as London expanded down the years, former villages like Knightsbridge were swallowed up by the growth of the capital. In this respect, I would also mention Kensington, Hammersmith, Highgate, Hampstead, the list goes on. But this is the former village of Knightsbridge, now part of the bustling metropolis. Famous for its sumptuous windows, very seductive, idiosyncratic, artistic, but no price tag, in fact, what the saying in Night Bridge. If you have to ask the price, you probably can't afford it. It's obviously fair. In the distance on the left hand side, a tantalizing glimpse of Harrods department store. There you can see it, but don't worry if you missed it. We'll be taking a close look at Harrods a little later on. Ultraviolet light. It looks like, as I said, a Christmas card come to life. The Christmas tree. What would Christmas be without the Christmas tree? Well, there on the left hand side is the Victorian Albert Museum. Named in honour of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert, who is the man credited with popularising the Christmas tree in this country. In 1842, he put a Christmas tree up in uh, Buckingham Palace to remind him of uh, home. He was from Germany originally. Maybe he's feeling a bit nostalgic, a bit homesick. But anyway, this was reported in the Illustrated London News. So I love the Harrods window displays this year, and they put colour filters on the glass to create an intensification of the effect. For example, there is a rich crimson colour to the right, a silvery effect now on the right, and the window display at the end, a sumptuous emerald green. Well, Harrods was the first uh, building in this country to have a, uh, what was called a moving staircase, what we now call an escalator. Back in 1898. So all the big names are here, Hugo Boss, Giorgio Armani, Lacoste, Burberry, but not wishing to leave the point. No problem. So if you're interested in uh, the inside of Harrods or Harvey Nicks uh, or Winter Wonderland, then that'll be in a separate video, which I'll uh, post shortly. Project of the American entrepreneur Gordon Telford. And again, 
window display is superb. Not uh, displaying any merchandise or such. It's a beautiful Christmas tableau full of evocative images and rich colour schemes. The Mayfair, we're told, became notorious for riding behaviour and drunkenness and was abolished by the authorities. Then the area to the right, which had hitherto been mainly open farmland and farm basically almost the countryside of London, into a residential which was turned up by the landowners, the Earls of Oxford, and that's why the street they're known as Oxford Street. Well, one of my favourites, the wall of delicate pastel colour you see on the left hand side. Almost pure abstraction. Stunning. Then the area was developed in the 18th and 19th century, still maintaining the name, still keeping the name Soho. And today Soho is famous for its fantastic restaurant. sweep of Regent Street finds its way back to the hub of the West End, Piccadilly Circus. And again, the joy of being on the top of a, an old route master double-decker open top bus is the view is terrific. It's very easy when walking through the streets of London or any great city for that matter at pavement level not to look up and not to take time to admire the magnificent architecture. But there you see from the vantage point of the upper deck. What a splendid street this is, as it curves majestically down to pick up the surface. And again we see the famous statue of the angel, the ancient Christian charity most people call it Eros. And there's a legend in London that if you declare your love for someone at the base of Eros at midnight, your love will last forever. How boring is that? Lord Shaftesbury. Well, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. um, oh, if you're it. interested in watching any more of my terrible videos, uh, and then and then subscribe. Hit the bell notification. And crowds of admiring fans. Chinatown, with its splendid restaurants, and parcels of crispy duck and pancakes, 